I'm just going to show you how to add a battery backup to the Bulldog. So this is a 6,000 milliamp hour battery pack that has a 12 volt output. It also has a um, 5 volt output through a USB port. So as an example, you could use this port to power um, a smart hub that runs off of 5 volts. As an example of that is the, uh, the SmartThings uh, hub. You could plug that right into that as a battery backup. But we're going to be using it for the Bulldog today. So I've had this charging and it says on the data sheet it uh, takes um, 6 hours to charge. This is a talent cell battery pack. So it's fully charged now and it's simple to hook up. It comes with this um, parallel splitter. So basically you connect it to the standard 12 volt AC adapter that's on the other end of this cable. You plug one into the output slash input. That's input and output. So this charges but also provides power for devices. And the other side here and so now it's powering the bulldog but it's charging at the same time because it's still plugged in so i'm going to unplug the power in a moment and you'll see that it still works okay so it was plugged in to the power but i'm going to disconnect the power now so this is completely separate. This whole thing is nothing's connected to power. There's no cables going to any power. So this is just running off the battery now. And you can see it still works. And this is a 6,000 milliamp hour uh, battery. So if you do the quick calculation, uh, this the bulldog draws I don't know 40 or 50 milliamps when it's in idle mode and up to uh, six or seven hundred in that range if it's um, in the, when it's turning the valve but that's such minimal time compared to the you know the three or four days you want this to back up your battery so this will last about four or five days and I, I will show you that here just going to let it discharge over the next few days and record it. But let me just show you that it's still working with my phone, with the smart app. Phone has valve test. And, uh, you know, so the, bub, the hub, let's assume you added this battery back up to your hub. You've lost power, um, but you still have your internet connection. It'll work with your phone. So it's off, and I'll just put it on here. So now it's completely the battery driving that. The bulldog valve. And I'm just going to show you one more thing here before I uh, pass you to Patrick to show you the uh, the current draw of the bulldog. All right, so we set up automation previously to shut off the water in the case of a leak, and I've just uh, unplugged my hub from the power upstairs. It's running off of its battery backup. And I've disconnected the internet from it, so it's not connected to the internet. And this is because the automation is local in the SmartThings hub, it's still going to shut off the water in the case of a leak because this runs off batteries. The Bulldog is now on a battery, it's not connected to power. And I've put the hub on the battery. And I've even disconnected the hub from the internet, so we won't get notifications. But in the case of a leak, it'll still shut off the water. So let's just see if it does that. There it goes. All right, now I'll just pass you to uh, Patrick. He, he'll show you the uh, current draw under the normal condition and uh, the stroke condition for the Bulldog. When at rest and not paired with a Z-Wave controller, the Bulldog consumes about 40 milliamps at 12 volts. Moving from closed to open on this one and a quarter inch valve, the Bulldog draws about 135 milliamps at the start of the stroke and about 85 milliamps for the rest. When closing, the Bulldog draws about 180 milliamps at the start and then about 175 milliamps for the rest.
Attempting to stall the bulldog by hand draws about 380 milliamps. I just want to just show you the start date and time. So it's unplugged, and I'm going to leave it unplugged for the four or five days, and we'll just test it every day and see. So I'm just going to show you my watch here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's about uh, 3.25 on the 20th of February. We are a couple days later. I'll just get you the time here. So it's the 22nd, around 5.40, and the battery's there, and let's just make sure it's still working. There we go. All right, so it's another approximately uh, 24 hours, I guess closer to 23 from yesterday. So we're a total of four days now. And the battery pack has five uh, little green dots here for LEDs. I'm not sure if you can see that. But in any case, the first two are off and it's down to the last three, indicating the uh, level of charge that's left. And I would say we probably have at least a couple more days left till the fourth. So we might get to six. So let's just see if it still works. There we go. Four days later, battery's still going strong. Okay, today it looks like it's dead. I don't see any green lights. And I guess this is day five. But just to make sure, let's push the button and see what happens. Nothing. So that's it. We're dead.